I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from the book which my student needs help with and I thought you all may like to share the solution. It is question 11 page 257 from Nelson Advanced Functions. Question is an equation of the form y equals to k over x square plus bx plus c has a graph that closely matches the graph shown. Find the equation. So here we have reciprocal of a quadratic function. So it is in three pieces. That means we have two vertical asymptotes given here. So that means the quadratic function should have two real roots. So what we should do is find the equation of the quadratic function. Now how to do that? Well, from the vertical asymptotes, we know we have real roots at these points are minus 1 and plus 1, right? So we can write the quadratic function. Let me write that function as f of x equals to a times x plus 1 times plus minus 1, right? So these are the two roots. Now to find the value of a, we can look for local maximum of this, rather local minimum of this quadratic function which will be reciprocal of the local maximum here. This value for the reciprocal function is minus 3. Reciprocal of minus 3 is what? Reciprocal of minus 3 is minus 1 over 3. And therefore, for the quadratic function, it should be kind of like this, right? It should be like this. And then these are invariant points. So it should go like this. Got it? So it should be a function like this. That is the parabola for which we want to find the equation, right? Now we can use this vertex which is at x equals to 0. The vertex of this parabola is at x equals to 0 and y equals to minus 1 over 3, right? So we find from here that the vertex of the parabola is at 0 minus 1 over 3. So that will help us to find the value of a. So let us substitute 0 for x and minus 1 over 3 for y. So we get minus 1 over 3 equals to a times 0 minus 1 times 0 plus 1. Now that gives us minus a. So minus a equals to minus 1 over 3 or a equals to 1 over 3. So we get our function which is f of x equals to 1 over 3 times. Now what is x minus 1 times x plus 1? It is x square minus 1, correct? We can expand and always find it, correct? So that is the function. Now if we do reciprocal of this function, what do we get? We can write it here. So we get y equals to reciprocal of this function, right? So 1 over 1 over 3 times x square minus 1. So we can take 3 on the numerator side. So we get 3 over x square minus 1. So that is the function y given to us. Now we can compare all the coefficients and write down the values for k, b, and c, correct? So our answer is k is equals to 3, b is equals to what? Since the coefficient of x is 0, b should be 0, and c is, is equal to minus 1. So that is the solution for the given question, right? So the strategy here is from the reciprocal graph, we need to figure out the original function, the f of x, which seems to be a parabola, right? Now, the local maximum of the reciprocal is minus 3. Its reciprocal is minus 1 over 3. That becomes the minimum of the parabola. And we already know the two x-intercepts. They will help us to find the equation, right? So we utilize that vertex and found the equation, correct? So that is how we can find the equation of 
the function. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.